Okay, so I'm going to load as much as I can right now. from yesterday for that that house this one's just a street metal Actually, it might be a good pipe for like a, well, it's kind of small, but like a torque bar, but aluminum is probably too soft. I think that's a copper. I almost think that's a copper mortar. It's not turning white like they normally turn, right? I used the knife trying to scratch it, but I'm not sure on that one. But it might be copper. Sooner or later, you do get copper like that, but it takes a lot. got a real heavy coating very heavy coating some of them they're just really soft these ones got a real heavy heavy coating so it's hard to tell okay well still pull it on anyways because they paid 24 cents a pound for the stuff and so that's like um 15 pounds I guess or something like that so that would be what? Over three dollars anyways. Which is not bad. I was gonna do a scrap run, I'm not gonna do one. Don't have enough material. But I just wanna start stripping all the small stuff here. And I gotta pick up for Friday. So I need to be in empty Thursday or Friday. That's a nice little oh. Oh. probably 60 pounds. Sore, tired today from yesterday. A lot of reaching and you know, up and down, and tires out.
take off this plate off. That's probably it. I'm not going to bother about nothing else. It's just not worth it. It's adding up big time. So much of it. Whew. It stopped raining. It was raining really hard earlier. A little bit lucky right now. See all these little things are nice. Back of battery, but it was, it was uh, just a standard battery. It's a little bit weird. Usually, there'll be a you know, a rechargeable battery. So, I have to start processing all my um, all my uh, aluminum stainless steel. So far, prices are pretty stable; they're pretty high. But uh, you just never know what could happen. Sorry, as soon as demand slows down, then prices drop right away. have an inspection today today so um not not that old the house 1988 but i can't video there i'm still storing stuff there so for security reasons i can't show the video but um big three-story house probably like a two million two or three million dollar house but 1988 or something Probably like 5,000 square feet, I don't think. Anyways, I'll show you my bits here. So I don't have the video too long here. It's the highlight anyways. It highlights the wire. Copper. So a nice little container of copper. And even here. See, 
good little score. That's nice stuff, huh? So I still have to um, cut off the solder here, right? And some of this I know is painted. Well, brass, it's okay. That's nice. Ten pounds or more. Brass doesn't meet, matter too much. There's the lead. So I cut nighttime. It was dark there. So you, see, you don't want to be cutting lead, right? You don't want to be breathing lead, lead dust in. But I cut the copper basically. So not 100% clean lead, but still good. There's a category for that. It's not sometimes brass instead of copper goes into brass, but this one goes into copper, lead to copper. Or lead to brass, right? That's that. It's probably at least a bucket of wire inside there, I would leave. Lots of small stuff. And here's a bunch of brass and so on. Took the connectors off. These have, sometimes they have really nice, uh, well, this is riveted, but there's prongs and you have to drill the rivets out. Some have screws. And you get a bunch of connections, brass connections. This will have wire inside, and anyways, uh, took it regardless. If I'm handling it once, I might as well take it, right? The wire's jammed through already, that's a wire. This one I'll strip, I'll just leave this in the car. Okay, that's it for this, for this stuff to show you. I'm gonna put that stuff away. I think I might be taking it to my, my house, just so I can, uh, it, my, Garage is jamming up too much. I think I might store it there because I'm gonna strip this. Well, if I decide or not, I might strip it there. This I haven't decided yet on that part. I need a new cutter like this. This one's seen better days. It's all it's all just hanging there. See that? They're just stripped now, we can't tighten them no more. One thing I could do is drill it out, put a couple screws in here. Such a good cutter. Put a couple nuts and bolts in there maybe. Right, right there. Anyways. Okay, so that's it for now. We'll see what else I'll show you after. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, last one like this is stripped at three and a half pounds of copper. That's 10.80. So say, say 11 pounds because um, I think they gave me, uh, I think it was 54, so 540 or something, so say 11, so almost $6 they give me for this, the way I sell it, right, but so if I had, I go 374 is last time I got for number two times 3.5 1309 so $8 more if I strip it I know six so seven dollars just around seven dollars more if I strip it plus I got the weight of the metal the metals could be well, by the time you break it apart, there's actually uh, some had aluminum. This one doesn't have it, but the other one had aluminum on it. This is just uh, same concept. So this one's pretty easy to strip, actually. So I'm not gonna make something like this. I can always sell it the way it is. So this one you can't strip easy. We can. You just gotta bang it. If you bang it around, these these plates will start. Uh, Loosening them up, and then you gotta pop them up. Look at this. Look at this. For instance, that. So it's worth say two fifty, maybe two seventy five. The way it is, at fifty four cents, which I think is pretty good. It wasn't too bad, really. I had a bunch of transformers in here. I was thinking maybe selling some. Oh, see, 
so like I was hoping to sell soon fans because I got so many of these here but that's okay I just I'll strip them all down anyways there's a lot of transformers here oh, oh, some stuff super heavy you know I, if I have a good bucket load you know I, I don't mind selling it as a lot but when I have only a few it's just not a big deal big transformer in there actually there is actually a fair amount of transformers it's a huge one right here actually but all everything here is copper Nothing more, you know, it's all gonna be copper. Oh. Oh, okay, those transformers like this type of stuff. I'm gonna sell it the way it is. I'm gonna try to play around with these rotors. There's a lot of stuff in there, a lot of mortars. It's a big drum. Ooh. So what's this way here? That's it. 15 pounds. 15.9. See. So that would be worth what? Five. About almost eight dollars. How much copper would be in here? I don't know. See the plate's starting to looser already. So once you got a few loose, it's like I's and E's, right? See the plates coming loose already. Some of the tools sitting here. They're all sitting in my van. But see the first couple. Are loose, then it's then it starts getting easier and easier. And you have to kind of bang it around and stuff, but oh yeah, look at the copper there. Yeah, this is heavy copper. Oh, I can see what do I do? I kind of like playing around with stuff too, you know. If this lamination is not loose, it's not spread completely. It's a bit tight, tight, but you just gotta bang it around a bit, right? Once this one comes out, I right, say, the next one is easier. Vice versa, right? You can almost cut it down here, right? Right down. Like I have, like this one is not bad because it's big. I got my cutoff saw somewhere here. If I use that, that might work. I don't know where the hell it went. So much junk everywhere. Um, so, anyways, yeah, this is an option of what I'm gonna do. I haven't decided yet. But, uh,. Hmm. Okay, but anyways, like I say, if you cut even with a sawzall, you get a real fine sawzall. Not don't get a real rough one, like a hacksaw type blade. Cut it all about down here. You could probably already pound it out, right? With this being big wire, it's probably pretty easy. But I have I have three drums like this, four drums, yeah, three full drums. That's almost full. And then I got a whole bunch of tubs of small mortars. And I have tons of mortars here. These are all mortars. And I got transformers here too. So, like I don't mind selling these ones because these ones kind of, you know, take a lot of work. So I don't know. But I need kind of a day, day to go through everything and maybe reorganize a bit, clear a spot up here and go through there a little bit better. 
So I think today I'm not gonna do anything today. Just I'm, I'm undecided right now. We got tons of mortars here too, and stuff like this. This is copper too. I think I don't know if these are the right ones, but some of these are two pounds of copper when I started stripping these. I'm not sure if it's this one, but it's at least a pound for sure on here. Right. So, with the prices being high, like these are easy. You know, you cut one side off and the price off very easy. There's only very little here, right? The ones that have like lots, a little bit harder. And if you get ones out of oil, like out of fur like fridges or you know, out of fridges, they're probably a lot easier if they're full of oil lubricated already, right? Here's another one here. It's copper for sure, but is it worth stripping, right? So I'm gonna probably go through and maybe make a load. Hopefully the price is still gonna be good. I know the price is gonna change tomorrow or Monday. For iron anyways. And this has iron, so percentage is iron and copper, right? So that's why they pay higher because they got X number of dollars or per pound of iron and copper, right? This is all burnt. Okay, I'm gonna maybe get the tubs and put them in here for now just to get them on the way. I'm gonna go up go back to the house and get um get a little more wire. Right. Sometimes this comes out, but I find some kinds of pain. But I was told that this is worth better money than aluminum, a little bit higher value. See, this is actually strippable. Right? Okay, so, anyways, um, I'm gonna keep moving here. Another cut here, but. I like a small one like this, easier for wire. I have to go play Home Depot and pick one up. Okay, let me just get everything put away here, and then we we'll go back on the road. Okay.